All right, folks, here with Blair at Tidewater Golf Club. We're gonna enjoy showcasing this course, showcasing shots from everyone, uh, mainly my shots, but that's usually what I like to do. And it was a fun little thing yesterday. We did the, the uh, gambling on the par three, so we might do that again today. Um, we'll see how the pace of play is behind us and in front of us. We don't wanna slow up people on this course with filming. So anyway. Tidewater Golf Club, looking forward to showcasing. You got anything to add about the no. foundation, this retreat trip? Yeah, it's just it's been awesome. Uh, you know, getting, getting Griff out here, he's kind of learning the game of golf. So kind of enjoy getting him out here and kind of playing some tougher golf courses than we get sometimes in Kansas City. Uh, showcasing some different types of golf courses, but just honestly getting people out here, that's what we're all about, is rejuvenating everybody, kind of recalibrating as Steve likes to talk about. Uh, well, and this is your first retreat trip with the foundation as part of the foundation. So yeah, right, yeah. it's good for you too. Yeah, it's been really good kind of getting everybody together. Um, like I said, we can't say it, tell enough good things. I know we probably warned some of you guys out about Jerry, but man, you want to talk about a humble human being, you know, for us, kind of having a celebrity around. And you're talking about Jerry Carey. Jerry Carey. Go follow him on Instagram and TikTok. He's just a wonderful guy, was awesome to us. Kind of helped us, you know, on this first hole. If you think about that last hole we just played, kind of talked to us a little bit about some caddy tips. Yeah. Kind of talking these things out, and like you had an awesome shot in that par five there. So. So that's what we're going to kind of do today. Is do he's going to like caddy for me? Jerry suggests that we do some type, that type of content. Yep. So we'll do it as much as we can uh, when we can with pace of play. So all right, thanks for uh, tuning in, and this is the front nine, part one here at Tidewater. Good ball. I gotta play against that. Good ball, Popey. Look at that. Thank you. Woo! I love that ball play. So it says you got 228 from here, Steve. But remember that we got that. See, if you look up here, see that bunker? It looks like a corner thing. It looks like it's right next to the green. You're probably about, about 20 yards. So deception bunker? Deception bunker. So I, what do you want to like, probably land something about 220 and let it kind of skip up there? Yeah, I think I can get the four iron at least 210 and let it go. Hopefully it hits off the back of that bunker. Yeah. Because I, like I think a three hybrid's too much for me. Yeah, I think it's going to scoot up this wet grass. Hit you going, buddy. Steve, I don't know if you can hit any better than that, dude. I don't think I can. Go. Right off that bunker, right up onto the and green. And up onto the green, brother. <laughs> like, hey, we talked hey, through it. it. <laughs> it's just, hey, all day, baby. <laughs> hey, Jerry Carey said all we day. should caddy for each <laughs> other, right? Day. Yeah, he did. So we'll, we'll do that today. Have fun. <laughs> Oh, I didn't leave that short for Eagle, did I? Ah! All right, folks, the three putt par on a par five. Gotta hate those, but at the same time, it's, it's a par. So it's a good way to start our last round here in Myrtle Beach at Tidewater. Hope you enjoy the showcasing of this course. All right, Blair, probably just a hybrid, right? Yeah, I've got uh, just a shorty. Short, short par four, about 330. I'd right, say so you want to hit some there, like what, 235, 240? Yeah, I can right get there, this out there 250. when it scurries, but we'll see it. But this is the choice, I think. Proper choice. What are you going to go? Right at that bunker? Uh, I'm yeah, going to try to draw? try to draw it off the bunker, my, nor my normal. Right, shot in there. All right, man, hit you a good one. Keep coming. Keep drawing. All right, I think you got it, Griff. Thank you, sir. Yep, thanks. All right, folks, I got 88. I got uh, my 58 degree here. Lost a little right, get to the front left, right of the green. It did. Good it's feeding, good miss there folks. Yeah, look at it feed. That's what this game's all about. It's about the misses, isn't it? Whether they let us come play, <laughs> yeah. and then the misses on the golf course. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's good roll, go. Yeah. 
Yeah, I borrowed too much in the bumps. I don't know what the reviews were talking about with these greens. So far, they're nice. All right, what you got here? I have a nine iron. All right, we got 143, right? Yeah. Wind's a little in her face, right, Steve? When I threw it up, it's in and to the right. Okay, so how far do you usually hit your nine iron? Uh, if I jump on, I can get it to 150, but. Okay, so we're playing like a 150-ish shot, maybe like 148? Yeah, so I'm, I won't jump on it, I think I'll be all right. Okay, what's your line? The middle of the green is, you know, I'm probably gonna just be left side of the, that bunker, so left of the flag. That was a beautiful swing, exactly where you wanted to be, right in the middle. Come on, win. See? No, don't go down that. <laughs> Hold on. You, you knocked that off. <laughs> you knocked that off right now. That made a good shot. The pin's down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Let me zoom in on that, folks. Yeah, yeah. Not in my butt. <laughs> Augusta National. <laughs> Did it go off into the water? All right, folks, you see it says stranded here. I got stranded, hit it in the middle of the green on this tier, didn't get to the, the pin tier. And I think it rolled all the way into the intercoastal waterway. <laughs> Alligators, I don't think I can get down to it down this slope, but uh, hey, nonetheless, it was fun. Look at this view, can't beat that. That's the other part of the race, really pretty. All right, there's where my ball went. I don't know if I'm gonna go down and get it or not. Possible Gatorville. But this is the slope it came all the way down and fed off. All right, you're gonna see the ball come zoom, zooming up. I took my drop. I have no angle for the camera. Thank you. Richie uh, snuck the birdie in. Good job. All right, those boys gave me that putt because uh, pace of play behind us, uh, me getting down there to get my ball after I, I put it up. So it is what it is. Friendly game that we're playing today anyway, so. I got 167. Wind is in the face and to the right. I'm gonna hit a choke down six. Get down, because I pulled it. God, I love the alligators. No critters anywhere? No, you're good. They're stealth-like. All right, folks, I'm down here. Hey, is that the flag where you're at? Yep. Okay, thanks. That probably went over, folks. You hit it. <laughs> Up, Slam dunk. And I hit it too hard. Whew, this struggle bus hole, folks. Stay up there. All right, you're just going to see shot five come in from off the side of the camera. Pick it up. Wow, folks, I left myself in a tough spot there, down there. One of the greatest of lies. I got it up and over that cliff though. I got a quick going, uh, quick going left, right? But anyway, beautiful course, intercoastal waterway, looking at it there, on to hole five.
They stack them on you. Yeah, they let you let you have it for a minute. This one's called Never Ending. All right, folks, tight little fairway here, 412 yards gonna make a good drive here. Oh. Right down Central Street. All right, folks, the 150 posters right here, the pins up front little, so we'll call it like 145-ish. I'm gonna hit the nine iron. Ah! Get over that bunker and catch part of the green. Nope, it went in it, you fucking dumbass. Ah, oh, just the wrong direction. Pushed it, I mean pulled it. All right, I, I'm on the bogey, double stack bogey and bogey train right now. Uh, hitting good drives. I'm happy with that. Now I just got to hit some better approach shots. I've hit three decent approach shots. You know, that one got screwed on that part three, but that was fun watching it go all the way down. Anyway, on to hole six out here at Tidewater. Beautiful course. You know, I know I don't showcase with drones. I don't have the money for that or the time to do it because I'm a one man band when it comes to this filming for the most part. So hope you enjoy the best I can do and still spread the mission of mental health for first responders, but let alone everyone. So here we go. folks it's like 390 there's water on the left side of this fairway area so the barber pole down there is the line I, I did the I did the uh, speed approach all right folks like about I got about 149 still driving the ball good I just got to hit a good approach shot here and uh, these Bermuda greens kind of giving me fits this week and Richie and he's one of the better putters I've seen so let's see if I can hit a good one here pull all right folks we're all over here we all hit shitty shots of this green and it I short sided myself so I have to throw this one high, possibly. Good touch. Thank you. All right, folks, I got off the bogey train there, luckily, <laughs> with a good there pitch shot. Hope you're enjoying this course. Look at all these turtles down here. Let's get a look at these babies. They're coming up for food or something. Are these turtle dogs or? <laughs> we don't have any food. All right, folks, hole seven. Uh, it's like 294 yards. I know I can't carry, it excuse me, that far, but I'm gonna try to get it to those front bunkers. Have fun, that's why we're out here. If I was playing tournament golf, I would probably lay up to about the 100 yard and have a full wedge in. Able to have some spin better that way. But if I get it to the bunkers, I could, I'm decent enough, I can get it to a decent spot.
Then play in the pine needles left. Bad swing. Good miss. Or is a is a miss that turned out okay, but I'm gonna have to come from the pine needles. I don't think I've done that on this trip yet. Hit one out of them yet. No, I did, I punched out once, but that was yesterday. All right, folks, I'm not in the pine stroll. It came all the way around this up to here, and I got a good angle into this pin. Let's take a look at what I got. Walkie-talkie here. Got a little rise, as you can see and then it falls away just a little bit. So if I can get it to the left side, let it feed to the pin. That little area right there, Uh, that's golf though, I didn't throw it far enough on the green. Oh, you hit this little uprise. That was supposed to be a studly shot. But I got a birdie putt. It's better than I've been doing the last four holes. Just had to hit it. Oh, it still made it. Great, great touch. Thank you. Nothing's gonna beat the Jerry video putt though. No, no you dude, can't. You I can't. mean, how can not you? even that eagle that I made. <laughs> hey, how can you do that? All right, folks, I'm gonna show you hole eight here with the waterway. Um, we're playing. I, I forgot to tell that we're playing from like 6,400 yards. The white tees, so it'd be the middle tees of the five. And this is gonna be a short par five here for us, 460 yards about, so. But anyway, here's the, here's the view we got. All right, let's see if I can keep a decent driving front nine going here. Oh, I just missed it. <laughs> It was looking at it. <laughs> All right, folks, you know, these next couple holes might change my mind on which one I like best, because this, uh, these, these holes next to the waterway are pretty, pretty nice. There we go, taking it too far inside. Taking it too far inside, I think I figured it out. All right, folks, the approach shot, we couldn't see it, so there's no excitement, but I got an eagle putt that, how many feet, you think about eight? I don't know, I want to take up there and look, because like you said, like you, hit, you struck it good, it sounded good, but I couldn't see it. Well, just driving up, it looked like it's about eight feet, maybe. Dang. So let's see. I think they both had good shots. I had oh. the eight iron. What'd you hit? I hit the nine. Yeah, mine came in a little bit. I mean, you're drawing yours in too. Oh, those are scrumptious. So is that for Eagle for both of us? Me, you, and Rich. Dang. Or is that Rich's? No, Rich is right here, dude. All right, nice. Three Eagle opportunities. Yeah, it's a short hole, but you still got to hit the shots. But it's on that side of the smidge, so it moved that way just a smidge. All right, folks, let me see if we get the first of the three Eagles. Nope, pushed it, pussy, fart face. <laughs> that grain really took it. Well, at least it's a little birdie. It's all over here and I can't find it. Ain't nothing wrong with a little birdie. No. All right, let's see if these boys can get their eagles. Again, you know, when you have a hole like this, you gotta take advantage of it. Um, you know, especially with a nine iron in. Oh, he just didn't have the pace. Killed it earlier. Yep. 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 Yeah! Sink it down, baby. Oh, Mr. Oh, Eagle! Woo! Wait, wait, wait. Let me get you did ball. hammer that sucker. Hey, don't even get that ball. <laughs> why, why mess with it? It works. Oh. 
There's that. Don't swing so hard. Just had that left spin. All right, folks, I'm way down here. I'm down here yonder. Except for that, Griff, it just keeps going. I'm down here yonder, folks. I gotta get it up there, though. I gotta pound this thing. Ah, oh, I didn't get it far enough left. Stay up! It's not Griff's fault. He's just big and... Oh, oh big my and shitty. God. <laughs> oh, my. Right. He farted Would you eat salt water or what? That added some undulation to the green. <laughs> <Heck>. <laughs> All right, folks, that concludes the front nine here at Tidewater. These last uh, two holes there on the front nine, pretty special next to the water. So I'm looking forward to seeing what the back nine's all about. So hope you enjoyed showcasing of Tidewater, the front nine, as well as bringing attention to uh, mental health for first responders and how we use the game of golf to get them out on the course and how I use the game of golf, especially to decompress and recalibrate. No matter how bad I play, I'm out here having fun. I used to be a mess on the golf course, throwing golf clubs before I understand what was happening to me mentally, not only from my parents being alcoholics and then a profession that causes allostatic load, which is the buildup of that accumulation of the things we see builds up over time and it causes problems. So yeah, just trying to spread that story and that mission and help as many people as we can. Take care, love y'all. Blair, anything? Not, nah, just appreciate you. Make sure you stay self-aware, as Steve says, and make sure you take care of yourselves and your families, all right? All right, amen.